Images from Texas after Hurricane Harvey show complete and total devastation. Lives were lost, homes and businesses destroyed. It will take years to rebuild. The storm has many people wondering if they're prepared for a disaster. You may think you are, but how can you be sure? Here with some advice is attorney Whitney Hughes of the Allegheny County Bar Association. Good morning, Whitney. Good morning. Such an important topic. I mean, a lot of people here in Pennsylvania think we're not going to have a natural disaster like that, but you truly never know. You never know. Oh, and you know the specifically the Pittsburgh region has been hit hard before we were hit hard with the the Ivan flooding right. in 2004 my own in-laws were hit really hard um, so you, you don't think that it comes close to home but it really does so it's something you need to think about and the first step you say is to really pay attention to your homeowners insurance yeah I mean that's the first thing homeowners insurance policies typically will not cover flood damage so you need to look at your policy and really check and make sure um, given that it probably won't, get flood insurance coverage. Um, there are usually flood insurance coverage was offered through um, the National Flood Insurance Program, which was actually managed by FEMA, okay. um, which is still a possibility, but private insurers are offering coverage now as well. Something you definitely need to look into. You don't have to have your property on a flood plane to buy flood insurance. You can still get it even if you're not on a flood plane. Um, something to keep in mind though is that there is usually a 30 day waiting period okay. for that insurance to take effect. So look into it, find out what your options are, make sure that it's not just structural damage that's covered by the policy, but contents coverage as well. So everything, not only your house, but everything in your home. Right. And one of those situations where you really want to pay attention to the fine print and really go through and Absolutely. Read it carefully. Yep. Okay, something else you need to do, make copies of important documents. Most people would never think of that. Yeah, they don't. Um, most people have, you know, birth certificates and marriage licenses and all that other stuff locked away in either a safe or a safe deposit box, which is a good idea. But keep a copy of those things on hand as well. Um, have them ready to go. Again, if in the event of a disaster, if you have to go and prove you are who you are, that you live where you live, having an extra copy is just another step that's already been taken care of so you don't have to start even further behind. And this one seems kind of like common sense, but so often we're reminding people, heed the warnings. If someone is right. telling you to get out because you're in a dangerous situation, do it. Absolutely. I mean, again, you think it can't happen to you, but it can. It's not only risking your life and your family members' lives, but you've got to consider all of the first responders that are coming in and putting their lives at risk as well. It's just putting an extra stress on the system in general. And talk about emergency kits. I mean, most people think, okay, I need to get some supplies together, but you really want to have a comprehensive kit ready to go to grab at a moment's notice. You do. I mean, those copies that we talked about before, right. have those copies, put them in a watertight bag, make sure that's ready to go. Um, Non-perishable food, water, um, you know, it, it, medical cards, if you have that kind of stuff, um, batteries. Make sure you have not only your cell phone, but the phone charger. So many people grab their phones and then once it runs out, they're stuck. That's the kind of thing you want to have. Plan as far in advance as you can and get things ready to grab and have them ready to go. And of course, you want to think about not only your family members, but your pets too when you're planning that emergency kit. Yeah, they I need mean, their own supplies. They do. And, you know, most people, you hear stories about people that wait because they have to they can't take their pet with them usually most emergency shelters will not take pets for health and and you know sanitary sure, reasons sure. so make sure if you're taking your pet with you you have a contingency plan have a buddy plan somebody where you can can say can you take my dog for a couple weeks or a couple days until we get out of this situation make sure you have their vaccination records their you know their rabies tags um, if they're microchipped their owners tags that kind of thing make sure you have all of that you have to think about those family members as well and the other important thing to do is do some research and make sure you have phone numbers make sure you have resources absolutely to start rebuilding should you have a yeah, I mean, there are a lot of good resources available. Um, the FEMA website is a huge resource. Pennsylvania has their own emergency management association. That as well, the Pennsylvania um, Insurance Agency, the Pennsylvania Insurance Commission is also a good resource. The Bar Association has actually offered disaster assistance before as well. When Ivan hit in 2004, we had a presence at the FEMA centers. We still to this day have a disaster relief panel wow. of attorneys that will volunteer their time in the event of a disaster. So know those resources. 
Absolutely. And such a good time to talk about this with what's happening in Texas. And now we have Hurricane Irma headed towards Florida potentially. So just yeah. your advice for telling people to kind of get on this and don't wait. Plan ahead. Definitely plan ahead. All right. Well, thank you so much, Whitney. You're welcome. And for more helpful legal advice, you can contact the Allegheny County Bar Association's Lawyer Referral Service. We'll have a link for you posted at kdk.com slash PTL. We'll also have a link to a story with information on how you can help the victims of Hurricane Harvey.